How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Geoengineering, a horrible idea we might have to do by In A Nutshell. Alright, so uh, I was wondering which In A Nutshell video I really wanted to do today and uh, lo and behold, a new one was blessed upon me in my timeline. So uh, that's really, really awesome. Uh, I like how like little stuff like that in life works, how it's like the seems like pieces in the puzzle fall together and it just everything is real smooth and amazing. But uh, yeah, this one came out literally a couple of hours ago. So uh, I'm super excited to get into this one. And uh, yeah, since I wanted to do it in a nutshell video, this is the best time to do the newest one. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm pretty sure I will know what it is, but the word geoengineering, I'm not 100% positive of what it is. So uh, I can't wait for Mr. Announcer Man to do his job and do explain it quite good to me. So without any further ado, here's geoengineering, a horrible idea we might have to do. By the end of the 21st century, humanity is becoming desperate. Decades of heat waves and droughts have led to unusually poor harvests, while the warming oceans yield fewer fish each year. In the tropical Global zones, warming. millions suffer from famines and resource wars have made millions more flee to the north. As things quickly get worse, in an act God, of desperation, this is so sad, the world's man. governments decide to enact an emergency plan. It's far from certain that a grim scenario like this will play out, okay. but the failure of world leaders to effectively address climate change makes it far from impossible. So, in the near future, it might become necessary to try something radical to slow down rapid climate change. Let me hear it. Geoengineering. Interventions That's what so the title suggests. In scale ...that they might undo centuries of human behavior. Or interesting. make anything much worse. What is More interesting. Geoengineering? Is it really an option? And what if it goes wrong? You done broke it. Like always, a snazzy intro. Geoengineering methods vary from fantastic ones like constructing giant light sails in space That's to an umbrella. clouds with salt, or wilder ones like fertilizing the oceans with iron to speed up the growth of trillions of algae cells. Okay. In this video, we'll focus on an intervention we could see during our lifetimes. Stratospheric aerosol injection. Let me hear it. A clunky it. term that means spraying stuff very high up in the atmosphere to keep the sun away. Interesting. Keeping the sun away. Straight CO2 to it. I love it. up the planet on its own. Almost all of the energy on Earth comes from the sun in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Yes, that I didn't About know. 71% of this energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface and atmosphere. This absorbed energy is emitted again as infrared radiation and CO2 is able to trap this infrared radiation and keep it in the atmosphere for a while. You can compare this effect with snuggling under a blanket in the morning. Oh. Even in a really cold room, your body emits infrared radiation and the air between your body and the blanket traps it and creates like a warm and comfy feeling. So one way to cool down the planet would be to prevent energy from getting trapped under our planet blanket which huh. is already happening naturally. Yeah. About 29% of the solar radiation hitting Earth is reflected back to space by bright surfaces like ice, deserts, snow, or clouds. Or a really More big mirror. Less energy, less warming. We can look at nature for inspiration. Specifically, the 1991 Mount Kilimanjaro eruption, the second largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century. Aside from massive devastation and almost 900 dead, scientists noted its strong impact on the global climate. Dang, the explosion man. ejected millions of tons of particles and gas as high as the stratosphere, which hung around there for a while. The stuff that's interesting for geoengineering is sulfur dioxide, a nasty smelling and invisible gas. I know what sulfur in the is. Atmosphere, it produced a haze of sulfuric acid droplets that mixed with water and created giant veils. These veils acid. reduce the sunlight reaching Earth's surface by roughly 1%. Global average temperatures dropped by 0.5 degrees Celsius. It took three years until this cooling effect had stopped. Dang! Humans could imitate this process by injecting sulfur particles directly don't break it. into the stratosphere. <laughs> According to some scientists, this might be surprisingly easy to do, and we don't even need a lot of new technology for it. Okay. According to one study, it also might be pretty cheap compared with the costs of rapid climate change. 
Yeah. A small fleet of specialized aircraft could ascend once a year and distribute aerosols along the equator from where they would be okay. spread around the world. It's kind of like those crop duster that injecting between airplane five things. and eight megatons of material per year would reflect enough sunlight to slow down or even stop global warming, giving us precious time <clears throat> to transition away from fossil fuels. Awesome. Unfortunately, there might be a few unhappy side effects. That's bad. There are a number of potential issues with aerosol injections. Rainfall patterns could change, which could negatively affect agriculture. Yeah, that's and very famine. bad. Billions or of very people unhappy. Could be affected in the worst case. Also, after the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption, the acid water veils not only cooled down the surface, and they also heated up the stratosphere. As it turns oh. out, acid is bad for the ozone layer. Really? The ozone hole over Who would have thought? was the largest it has ever been. Injecting sulfur particles over decades could have a similar effect. Scientists have already suggested oh, no a combination of different minerals that might have much less harmful effects on the ozone layer, but more research and experiments need to be done to Bro, make sure this Bro, you don't stick your head in but it. Even if we don't damage the ozone layer, there are other risks. Politicians it's like a bad guy or something. industry might use the cooling effect as an excuse to delay the switch to a carbon neutral economy. Like I said, even if geoengineering the bad slows guys. down global warming, humanity is still adding extra CO2 to the atmosphere. More CO2 in the air means that the oceans absorb more CO2, which makes oh. them more acidic. This is already beginning to be deadly to huge ecosystems like coral reefs, and the longer this continues, coral the more reefs, severe man. the effects will be. But it gets worse. Once we start Just everything's dying into the atmosphere on a massive scale, we might be forced to do so for a long time, or we could risk a termination shock. What okay. That means is that if you seems like there's more bad than good the atmosphere with CO2, but at the same time prevents the planet from heating up by blocking solar radiation, we're sitting on a time bomb. Once we Aren't start we already? geoengineering, the natural cycle will take over again, and Earth would heat up. Oh. But after a few decades of keeping the planet artificially cold while still releasing massive amounts of CO2, it would heat up much, much quicker. An increase in temperature oh, that would take 50 years no. today could happen in just 10 years. Bro. Such a temperature shock in such a short time would disrupt every major system on Earth so much yeah. that it would be impossible to adapt in time. The worst case scenario could be dramatic famines and the rapid destruction of ecosystems. Oh, that bad. Humanity might survive, but the survivors would inhabit an unfamiliar and hostile world. It's like Mad Max the or something. The best case scenario is that once the world has finally fully understood the existential danger of rapid climate change, geoengineering can buy us a crucial decade or two. Time to transition our economies and maybe even pull CO2 out of the atmosphere. Maybe with huh. technologies that we'll discuss in a future video. It's like a oxygen not included Conclusion. or something. Conclusion. Geoengineering is a scary concept. Climate change code. It's not a solution to climate change, and it might even be a way animals are cute for the fossil fuel industry to delay the end of the fossil fuel age. Over the last few decades, geoengineering has been so controversial that it stopped many scientists from doing the experiments necessary to understand Nerd. it better. But Quack. opposing not geoengineering duck. is short-sighted. Well, that's the mean. truth is, we are already running a geoengineering experiment. We're testing how fast the world changes if we add about 40 billion tons of CO2 each year. That's bad, this man! This experiment is about to get really exciting. Hopefully, we'll never have to use geoengineering. But if we need to in the future, we better have done the science. For we real. be prepared. Or a panicking humanity might accidentally press the self-destruct button. Don't do it. And he did it. You probably won't have oh. to do any of that yourself, <laughs> but who knows? Better brush up on your science knowledge just in case. And our friends Get at smart Brilliant fast. can help you with that. Okay. Brilliant is a problem-solving website Love it. that makes science accessible in a practical I'll way. I'll watch through this, I don't care. 60 interactive courses give you the tools to crack problems in maths, logic, and engineering all by yourself. I do like the engineering aspect Instead of it. Instead of a classic lecture format, Brilliant uses storytelling, code writing, and hands-on okay. problems to keep you entertained and My uh, engaged. brother's going to college for coding way, and stuff like that, so daily challenge he might have to jump on this. long-term understanding of science and achieving your STEM goals. In a nutshell, Brilliant surprises you <laughs> and keeps you in on a your nutshell. toes, all while sneaking some knowledge into your head without Good you job. really noticing. Right up our alley, really. Yeah. To get a fresh perspective it's on science, so... go to brilliant.org/nutshell and sign up for free.
And there's an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers. The first 200 people to use the link get 20% off their annual membership. Sparkle, which sparkle. lets you view all the daily problems in the archives and unlock every course. Brilliant helps you end your day a That's little smarter. That's a pretty good offer, man. For the future we Definitely going to tell my brother about this. If he doesn't watch my videos, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was really, really interesting stuff. As always, it's a, in a nutshell video. Of course, it's going to be interesting and inciting and insightful and all these awesome words that mean that it was very enjoyable yet knowledgeable. That's a word, right? I'm going to claim it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just this world is if anybody listens to Tenacious D, the song Death Star, like at the very beginning of it. Uh, I'm not going to say it because I'll get demonetized, but <laughs> it's very, very graphic uh, language on that song. But yeah, it's so true. Like this world is just plummeting into death and it's very, very scary if you step, just step back and look at everything that's going on. Like global warming is real and everything. Like I don't know all these people that are saying, oh, it's just a hoax, blah, blah, blah. It's for hippies. Like look outside, man. Like it's not a hoax at all, but I'm not going to get political or anything like that because that just leads to bad stuff. But yeah, uh, this video was very, very enjoyable. I loved it. And like I say in almost every single video I react to of theirs or any scientific video that I watch, it's just really really interesting stuff with something that i don't 100 percent know about and then uh they enlighten me on it and like give me a fresh new perspective on it and stuff like that and like i've been saying in the past like international videos are amazing just because they have like awesome animation and like these cool characters like little birds and stuff like that that like help you soak up the information a whole lot easier and it's just really really enjoyable stuff so i really I really like in a nutshell videos like they're so cool I love them so much and they help a lot of people out me included so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said I have been Master Zero y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode later days